Uh, welcome back again. We continue with functions, but under this topic, we'll be talking about inverse of functions and different calculations that involve inverse of functions. One of the examples we deal with is this. Let's start with question one. F of x is equal to 3x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 2. The largest domain of f inverse of x is when what value we have to get the largest domain of f inverse of x of. So let's move on. We first find f inverse of x. And to find that is to let y let y to be equal to the function that you have. You have 3x minus 1 divided by 3x plus 2. So here you are going to be having 3x plus 2 times your y. And that can be equal to 3x minus 1. So moving on with this. We have um, 3xy plus 2y to be equal to 3x minus 1. So getting here, we can make sure, make sure you make your x the subject of formula. You express them in terms of x. So you have 3xy minus 3x to be equal to 1 minus 2y okay minus 2y so what do we have we have x open bracket 3y minus 3 to be equal to 1 minus 2y then our x can be equal to what 1 minus 2y upon 3y minus 3. So we can write this at the right hand side. That everything y represented, substitute it for x. So we can say our f inverse of x can be equal to what? 1 minus 2x upon 3x minus 3. So we now finalize by answering the question. Let me come back here. So the question says, what value of inverse of x can give us the largest domain? That is when we, it's like we are looking for when this function or when the inverse of this function is not defined. It's not defined. That means here we can say that is when 3x minus 3 is not equal to 0. That's when we can have the largest domain. So that means what? We can have our x. That is when the x is not equal to what? Um, okay. So that's when our x there, you have 2x, okay, 3x minus 2, okay. I think I should have 2 here. Mm, I'm coming. 3x minus. Yes. Yeah, so as when is that should be when 3x minus 3 is not this when x is not equal to 3 over 3. And that means when that is when x is not equal to 1. Yes. This is when you have the largest domain. Let's move to question 2. Question says, two functions f of x and g of x are defined on the set of real numbers by f of x equal to this, g of x equal to this, find f inverse of 2. To find f inverse of 2, you first find the inverse of that function, before you find f inverse of 2. Okay, f of minus 2. Okay, this is f of minus 2. Good. So just substitute. So since you have your f of x, 
to be equal to 2x squared minus 2 f of minus 2 will be equal to 2 open bracket of um, minus 2 squared then minus 2 and that should be 8 minus 2 and that will be equal to 6 so that settled then the past the next one the g inverse first find the g inverse of that your function inverse of um, g of x what would that be and you find that you let y to be equal to what your g of x what's your g of x x plus 5 so you make x right of formula x should be equal to what y minus 5 so g inverse of y there can be equal to what x minus 5 so now the g inverse of uh, minus 2 over 3 just substitute that there you have oh sorry i should be having um x here so that will be minus 2 over 3 minus 5 over 1 taking the lcm 3 minus 2 minus 2 yeah 3 minus 15 you have minus 15 so minus 2 minus 15 so the g inverse of minus 2 over 3 can be equal to minus 17 upon 3 then the next question says let me wipe this So you have the next one to say that the value of x for which g f of g of x is equal to g of f of x. What is f of g of x? So for the f of g of x, what is g of x? G of x is x plus 5. To be equal to g g of f of x and f of x is 2x squared minus 2 so what do we have let me just wipe this place in preparation for what i'm bringing in so here we are going to be having what you have this the f of x plus 5 okay that will be equal to what where is our f of x our f of x is 2x squared so you have 2 open bracket x plus 5 squared minus 2 that should be equal to what Two x squared minus two, then plus five. So here you are going to be having two open bracket of what x squared plus ten x, then plus twenty five. Then you have plus two here. That can be equal to what two x squared minus okay plus plus three so there what do we have now we have two x squared plus twenty x plus fifty then plus two that should be equal to two x squared plus three so what do we have we have um, 2x squared, we cancel x squared, this and this, they are gone. So what do we have left? 
I have 20x plus 52 mm -hmm. to be equal to 3. So I have 20x to be equal to minus 49. By collecting like terms, if you have minus 49, then dividing both sides by 20, this cross out this, so our x can be equal to, nothing can break this down, minus 49 upon 20. This is when your f of g of x be equal to g of f of x. So thank you for staying with me. Have a nice time.